Hi, welcome to Marielle Beats and Beyond. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this necklace. I wear this necklace a lot and I get a lot of compliments. So I thought I'll show you how to make this necklace. This idea came out because I started making uh, this Russian spiral and I didn't have any more beads. This is all the beads I have. So then I have all these turquoise beads that I thought about making them all into a necklace. And I really like it. Like I said, I get a lot of compliments. So today I'm going to show you how to make a necklace that if you have different sizes or different beads that it will match. If you put them together, that's a way to make a necklace. I have this other necklace that I made. This one, it's with fill needed stitch. Like I said, I just have these beads. So this is all I could get. But then I got these pearls and I just turn it into a necklace. So the one I'm going to show you how to make today is this one. I have all these different grays and I thought it will look beautiful with blue. The other necklace that I have is this one. So as you can see, you can combine wire work with um, stitching and it turned out great. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. Let's get started. To start, you want to pick up one round for 11s, one round, for 11s, one round, and for 11s. You want to leave six inches tail because we're gonna need the thread at the end. We are going to sew through all the beads one more time. If you have tension problems, what you can do is you can make a knot right here. You have to be able to manage the passes. So if you're using a smaller beads, be careful. We are going to sew through one six and one eleven. We want to be coming out of the first eleven after the six millimeter that's gonna be always you have to be exiting out of one to the first 11. we are going to pick up one six millimeter and four 11s we are going to skip the three 11s the six millimeter and we are going to sew through the first 11. in the description box i'm going to leave a link on how to make this stitch if you have issues. Pick up one six and four elevens and you are going to skip three six millimeter and we are going to sew through the first eleven. We are going to pick up one six millimeter and four elevens Right here, we are going to skip three, the six, and right here, you gotta pay attention to the way it looks right here. If you look at this, it looks like there are two six millimeter and only one 11 in between. That's what you gotta be looking for so you can do your step up. We are going to skip three, one, and we are going to sew through that seed B. And we are going to pull all these together. And this is the way it's gotta look every time you finish a row. We are going to step up through the first six millimeter and through the 11 so we can get in position to continue working. From now on, your steps are gonna be always the same. So you are going to pick up one six millimeter and four 11s. We are going to skip three. Or if you want to just look at it, this is your next round. We are going to sew through the following 11. Pick up one six millimeter and four 11s. This is the next round. We are going to sew through the following 11. Right now, if you remember, I told you to be looking for the two 
six and you look it looks like there's only one eleven in between them so we are going to pick up one six and four elevens and we are going to sew through that seed bead and that's when you know it's time for you to step up sew through the six millimeter and sew through the eleven so these are the steps you need to continue until you finish using all your uh, six millimeters or all the bits that you're using and i'll be right back to show you the next step for the necklace I'm done with my Russian spiral. For the next step, you're going to cut a piece of wire. This is like two and a half inches. I'm going to be using these crystals. What you're gonna do is you're gonna leave like an inch. You're gonna set your round nose pliers. You're gonna bend your wire, set the pliers on top, rotate them towards you, rotate the pliers, and continue going around until you touch the pliers. You are going to hold the loop and you're going to wrap this two times. You can wrap more times if you want to. Uh, most of the times when I'm working with wire, I wrap two times. You wanna cut the excess wire and you want to make sure that this wire is not sharp. So you wanna tack it in really good. So what you're gonna do next, you want your thread coming out of the rounds. You are going to pass your needle through the loop and then you want to come down maybe through the third round. You're gonna sew through the round you want to be sewing through the rounds just to make sure you're not going to um pull too hard the is you gonna make you uh work look weird you can clearly see where the loop is so you just gonna make sure you're gonna sew through the loop again and you're gonna come on the other side and you're going to do this several times until your wire doesn't move so if you see it right now if I pull my wire, it's, it's going to come out. So you want to just secure it. So you're going to be passing through the loop and through the six millimeter. You're going to continue doing that. And I'll be right back to show you how to continue. You want to make sure that when you pull your wire, it stays in. You can finish all your thread, reinforce, make some knots, and I'll be right back. We're going to put our crystal. With our round nose plier, we are going to press our crystal down. We're going to bend our wire. And right here, you want to decide how big you want your loops. So we are going to hold these wires and we are going to wrap around two times. Cut the excess wire and tuck the end in. So you are going to repeat the same step on this side and I'll be right back to show you how to continue. I finished both of my ends. So the next step, it's just to add the beads. And remember, this is gonna be the beads that you have available. Same steps. Just be careful with how big your loop is gonna be. It's gotta match to make it look better. So before you close it, you're gonna thread it in. We are going to wrap around.
cut the excess square and pack the end in. Right here, the way I want to do it, I want to put one of the um, seed bead. You gotta remember all these are ideas. You don't have to make it the same way I'm making it. It's all up to you. I just thought it looked good. We are going to put our pliers. Before you close it, make sure it's the same size. So we are going to continue adding our beads and I'll be right back to show you how to close it. I'm done adding my beads. I have the length that I need for my necklace, so it's time to close it. So all you gotta do before you um, close the last bead that you add, you're gonna pass it through the other side of your necklace, and now you can go ahead and close it. I'm done with my necklace. I hope the steps were easy to follow along. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed and like my videos. Until next time, thank you.